Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is Cheap Manager the Debug Camera. First things, the debug camera has nodes to activate it, but the disable version doesn't seem to work currently. I am still trying to figure out why not. Manually, you have to disable it, and I'll show you all the information. But let's look at it first. The debug camera, if we were to run this, I'm going to hit C on my keyboard to toggle the debug camera, and we'll end up with this. Now, you'll notice I'm no longer in charge of my player. My controller has detached itself and it's attached itself to this debug camera. It lets us fly around. It gives us some debug information. You can see it in the top left and the bottom left. Things like, for example, what we're looking at. This little line right here, you can, might be able to barely see in white. That is the normal facing direction of what we're targeting. You can see up or that way or that way, whatever it is. It'll tell you the material for example, that we're targeting and the item we're targeting and information about it. You can also click and it will tell you the selected actor information. So we can click on the floor, we can see the material and the actor we have selected, and then we can compare it to whatever we're mousing over, for example. There's other things like FOV, up or down, speed up or down, you can freeze the rendering, you can toggle the display and things like that. Like that. We're still in our debug mode, but we're toggling into the display, for example. And F freezes our rendering and stuff like that. Now, here's the issue that we're going to run into. I have this set up where if I push C to enable it, and then let's go into our camera controller, and I have V to disable it, V does not work properly. I'll hit C to do this, and I'll hit V, and you'll see the word disable. In order to turn this on, I am calling the Enable Debug Camera node. In order to turn it off, I'm calling the Disable Debug Camera node. For whatever reason, when it's called from a node, the Disable doesn't properly get access to the original controller, and it fails. And I don't know why. And I've tried this multiple different ways. For example, I've tried calling the Disable Debug Camera from somewhere else. I've tried casting to the Cheat Manager and calling it from there because the Disable Debug Camera gives you a warning if you don't call it inside of the Cheat Manager. I've even called the Execute Console command that I'll talk about here in a second, Toggle Debug Camera, and it still fails. Let me show you that. I'll hit C to bring it up, I'll hit V, we see hello, and nothing works. Now, the console command, if we pull up the console, let's run this, and pull up the console, and we do Toggle Debug Camera, it brings us into our Debug Camera. If we bring up the console and we toggle debug camera again, it gives us back our player. That's how it's supposed to work. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to work like that when you're disabling it. I can do the exact same thing. For example, I will run the toggle debug command camera command in a blueprint. And then when I'm done, I will run the toggle debug command command again. Just like before, just like if I was to type this in, the only difference is it's going to be ran through the execute console command. I'll go ahead and run this. C brings it up fine. V, I get the hello message, but it doesn't go back. So there's something weird when you execute these commands through the debug menu, just an FYI, and there's no way to disable it that I can find out. But I felt this was an important enough command and feature of the cheat manager to show it and show you how you can use it. So to summarize, the disable debug command, it's this right here, disable debug camera, part of the cheat manager, manager, doesn't seem to work properly, but the enable does. So you can always enable it if you want. You get access to all of these debug menu commands. And if you want to close it, you can do toggle debug camera. Whoops, actually finish the whole command. And it will go ahead and send it back to your character. So that's useful if you need to do debugging for example you're running around the world you're having an issue you want to check something out just toggle your debug camera it gives you full view of everything you can check out locations of things when you hit you can check out hit locations move things in and out your fov things like that and when you're done you can just go ahead and run the console command by hand toggle debug camera and that's it that's going to wrap up our debug camera 
information.